How to deal with Russian doping is the problem world sport just cannot find a way to solve. World anti-doping agency WADA has tried and failed to pave the way for reintegration and after continued subterfuge, its executive committee voted unanimously to impose a four-year ban on Russia competing in and hosting major sports events. This includes the Tokyo Olympics and the Football World Cup in Qatar. Russia was afforded every opportunity to get its house in order and to rejoin the global anti-doping community for the good of its athletes and for the integrity of sport. But it chose instead a different route. Crucially though, this ban applies only to the Russian flag, anthem and team name. Meaning controversially, Russian athletes and teams can still compete under a neutral flag. This was the case at the 2016 Rio Olympics and Winter Games in Pyeongchang last year. It's not clear yet as to how this would work at the World Cup, should they qualify. A team representing Russia cannot participate, but a team of neutral, if there's a mechanism put in place, then neutral, they can apply to participate on a neutral basis, not as representatives of Russia. This won't satisfy WADA's own athletes committee, which believes only a blanket ban of all Russian athletes will solve a problem that has now dragged on for more than five years. State-backed doping by Russia emerged after their Sochi Winter Olympics in 2014, effectively poisoning the Games to show medal-winning prowess under President Putin. Russia's doping authority, Rusada, has 21 days to appeal the latest ban with the Court of Arbitration in Switzerland, CAS. The head of Rusada admits there are problems and is calling for reform. We need to change our approach. There is no other way because we need to allow our athletes to live fulfilling lives in sport. Stop making life a nightmare for athletes. There are many in Russian sport, though, who do not welcome Wada's punishment. This is a biased decision, a politically motivated decision, in my opinion. We, the Russian Biathlon Union and Russian sports as a whole, have contributed greatly to the anti-doping program lately. We took every test, everything. Our athletes have been checked all the way through and no concerns have been raised. Whatever happens in an appeal, there are legal loopholes for Russia to retain rights to host events that have already been agreed. UEFA's Euro 2020 football games in St. Petersburg are unlikely to be moved because UEFA is not a signatory to the WADA code. While this latest ban will remove some Russian athletes from big events, what cannot be removed is the suspicion and distrust that will hang over sport at the Tokyo Olympics and beyond. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera.